during this single episode, we destroyed two Makita, one Ryobi, and one Milwaukee quarter inch hex to a half inch adapter. Yes, we did. Alrighty, so it is the year 2020. What we are gonna do today is we are actually gonna find out if using an impact driver is wasting your time. All right, so back in the day when they made impact drivers, drill drivers were not powerful at all. They just did simple screws and that's pretty much it. But in today's world, drills are so powerful that they actually might make impact drivers obsolete. In a previous video, I did a test with uh, the hammer drill right here and it actually drove in a 10 inch lag within like seven to 10 seconds. And it takes about the Milwaukee about 15 to 20 seconds to do that. And this is the most powerful impact driver on the market. All right, but I wanna put this to the test to see if impact drivers are obsolete now. In my opinion, I think the, the, the fuel hammer drill is gonna destroy the fuel impact driver. I'm, I'm even gonna give the impact driver the advantage. I'm gonna give the impact driver the eight amp hour battery and the drill driver is gonna have the six amp hour battery. So this is gonna be a good one, so stick around. Let's go through the specs, then let's do the test. All right, so this is the Milwaukee Fuel Impact Driver. This is model number 2853-20. Uh, it has four speed settings. It has self-tapping, speed one, speed two, and speed three. We are gonna keep this on speed three because it will need it. The battery is full. We are using an eight amp hour high output battery. So this only gives the specs for the highest speed. It is zero to 4,300 impacts per minute and it is zero to, zero to 3,600 RPM. LED light on the bottom, the, it does have a quick insert collet. Now people say uh, that they have major issues with the collet actually holding bits. If you have an issue with that, you just gotta take the collet apart and then probably reposition the ball bearings or replace the ball bearings. That's, that's all you really gotta do. Taking out a collet is not it's not that hard. It's just held in by two C-rings right here, by uh, one C-ring with a washer, then a spring, and that spring holds in the two ball bearings that's in here, or one. I think this, nope. Yeah, this only has one ball bearing in it, so that's how you fix that. I'll do a video on that later. All right, so like I said, is a uh, fuel brushless. This is gonna be, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a good one. All right, so it's competitor will be the Milwaukee M18 brushless fuel hammer drill. This is two speed settings. This has a 14 point clutch plus two and the plus two is hammer and drill and anything out of hammer and drill, it's just screw that uses the clutch. And so, yes, this is, the battery is full. We'll be using the six amp hour high output battery for this. All right, this goes on speed one, zero to 550 RPM and on speed two, zero to 2000 RPM. And uh, this has, I'll say it anyway, zero to 32,000 beats per minute, which we are not using the hammer feature on this today. Single LED light on the base, fully metal chuck. And so yeah, this, this is a beast. This is a beast. So this is gonna be a good one. So please subscribe to the channel. I do these kind of tests all the time, that this is what my channel is actually for. So let's find out if impact drivers in 2020 is obsolete, because I, I strongly feel that the hammer drill is gonna destroy this impact driver. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got my safety glasses right here. So this is gonna be an interesting one. We are gonna do the hardcore lags on this. Alrighty, so we are only going to do, uh, with this, a 10 inch by half inch lag, and we're going to do an 8 inch by 5 eighths inch lag. This one's a tough one. That one's a, that's really thick. Alrighty, so we are going to do the impact driver first. Alright, like I said, the battery is full. We are on speed 3. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Oh. 
little bit more. Time. Now I will say, I will also say this, this tool is extremely loud. All right, so it is time for the hammer drill. The battery is full. I think right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time, it did it. Alrighty, so let's take them out. We will do the, that was easily controlled too. That was not that, was not that hard to control. All right, so let's take this out. All right, so ready, go. Time. That is a power, that is a powerful impact. All right, so let's take the drills out. All right, so ready, go. That timed out like a few seconds ago, so I stopped the timer at the right time. All right, so that's that. Next, let's do the five eighths. Let's do the five eighths by eight inch. These are, these are a lot thicker than the half inches, so this is gonna be a good one. All right, so right here, no, I'll do it right here. All right, so ready, go. Tiny bit more. Time. All right, that, oop. see that's one bad thing about this. Right now it's locked into place. That's one thing about it, so you gotta just do reverse, uh, like a tap, then it's free to go. That's one bad thing about a collet. Stuff like that locks, the, and that actually ruins the bit. Figured out my rig is not wasn't secure enough, so now it's more secure. All right, so ready, go. Time. That did it. Sorry, I just needed to adjust the rig because I wanted it propped up against something, so I don't have to worry about my camera getting hurt. So, so yeah, that, that's. That's that, you know, it did it, it did it. All right, so let's take this out. Battery is still full. All right, so ready, go. Oh, that was taken out like crazy. I was, that's able to slide that in. All right, so let's take this out. All right, so it's in reverse. All right, so ready, go. time wow this uh, this thing is powerful i do not know what the uh what the results are i found that out through the editing of the video but this thing is powerful Alrighty, we're just gonna do we're just gonna do one timber lock each do it right here all right so ready go time All right, it is time for the drill. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Ooh, that. There we go. Let's take it out with the impact driver. So ready, go. 
time. Let's take it out with the drill. So ready, go. Time. Alrighty, so let's see if the let's see if the impact driver could do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. Battery is full still. All right, so it's on speed three. Ready? Go. Time. Oh, that bit came out. I hope that doesn't become a regular thing. I think it's, we will see. I might have to take this collet apart and uh, see what's wrong with that. All right, it is time for the drill. Right here is good. Ready, go. Time. Time, time, time. All right, next, let's do a one and a half inch hole. Let's actually rotate this. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. It did do it. Technically, it did do it. All right, it is time for the drill. Right here is good. Battery still is full. These batteries are not going to be, they might go down one bar by the end of the video. So, all right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so we have this set to a hundred and, 150 foot pounds. There we go, 150 foot-pounds. Let's see if the impact driver could loosen this up. Now, please, guys, I know I should be using impact-rated sockets for this, but I can't find one of these in my area, so for this size. So bear with me on it. I ordered one, but it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't the right size, so I returned it. All right, so ready? Go. Oh, reverse. Oh, that broke immediately. So we have this at uh, 150 foot-pounds. Let's tighten this up. There we go, 150 foot-pounds. All right, so ready, go. Ah, that broke immediately. That it loosened it, but that broke too. Oh, uh, the old, <laughs> the last one I got is Ryobi, which Ryobi already did a previous test with this stuff. So let's see how well the Ryobi does. Those are all brand new too. All right, let's continue. <laughs> Gee, oh, I, all right, so that's that for the, all of them broke. All of them broke. All right, I, I need this out of here, so let's take this out. All right, that is out. Since we're on this, I might as well do a couple of uh, a couple of specs. All righty, first let's do a six inch specs. We're just gonna do one each. Ready, go. Nope, that doesn't count. 
All right, ready? Go. Time. All right, let's do it on the drill. Right next to it is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Let's take it out for the impact driver. Ready? Go. Time. Ready? Go. Time. So already, I am very sorry to cut the power test short. Uh, I seriously broke four. I seriously broke four uh, half inch to a quarter inch he uh, hex adapters during this test. Like seriously, I broke four of them. This is like eighteen dollars right here, gone. You know, and so, but uh. So yeah, so like based on the how these were breaking, I it was pointless to go any further. I do not know what the test results are. I found that out during the editing of the video, but uh, there are ups and downs to both. The impact driver is insanely loud compared to the drill driver. Like that's as loud as it that's as loud as it it, it goes, and this thing gets really loud as soon as that hammer starts hit, hitting the the anvil. And so it, it's, it's just crazy. So there's both ups and downs to it. So that's pretty much it. If you found this video entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.